Hey Bobber, it's me today. Um, I want to do a video about Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. Now before I get started, um, just want to say if anything looks different, I'm sorry. I had to like reinstall everything on OBS and like change all my settings again because like, you know, because I was trying to fix something but it didn't work. But you know, whatever, you don't need to hear the story. Just if anything looks different, that's why, um, that explains it. So, with that out of the way, I want to talk about season, Chapter 2 Season 3 of Fortnite and kind of predict the season because i'm not gonna talk about you know the stuff that was added because i've already been done talked about already i want to talk about the rest of the season how the hype level for the season will continue because something that i noticed between season one and season two of chapter two it's kind of similar in a way to the way this season started where there's a lot of hype hype levels are off the chart especially for Season 1, the new map, everything was just so, just, off the charts, off the field, so hyped. But, as Season 1 continued, and I'm referring, I'm just, I'm just gonna make it clear, Chapter 2, as I'm talking about, in the seasons of Chapter 2, the hype levels died down and became kind of tedious to play Fortnite, and it got annoying, and it got boring. And that's why a lot of people stopped playing, including myself, I kind of stopped making, I, I stopped casually playing the game, I guess, to making videos on it. And the same thing happened for Season 2. Both of those seasons were extended. So, makes me wonder, would this season, which would Season 3, have the same thing? Because I believe the end of the season will be August 17th, I believe, or like in August, mid-August. That could, of course, change. With everything going on in the world right now, I'm I'm not gonna be surprised if they delay it by like two weeks, like they did with this up that last event that happened like a week ago, a couple days ago even. Um, so that's pretty much what I think is gonna happen. Also, something that you notice with, with even if with Epic Games, how they add all this content in, and they don't really add more. It's kind of because of all the delays, they're not planned. For for content to be released, so I mean, it just leaves nothing to the game, really. I mean, sure, there's files being added, they do updates every two weeks, but like, nothing big. Like, I remember back in Chapter 1, there's all these updates that were going on. Sure, it got annoying, but there was stuff being added to the game as being fresh. And I think our mindsets are that we keep seeing this new content, we're gonna, we were used to this, so when we don't get new content in like two to three weeks, we get agitated and we get bored. This game is a trend. It's not meant to last forever. Like, more time, like, you're not gonna play this game over and over again and just be happy with it a month later with no new content added. You need new content in order for this game to be feel fresh and new. That's why every season the map is changing because it keeps it fresh because if they didn't, if there's minimal map changes, you're not gonna notice it and you're gonna feel bored and you're not gonna play the game then. That's why they keep adding these changes, that's why they keep improving, that's why the map's underwater, that's why there's sharks, because that keeps the game interesting. But, will that continue for this season? Will season 3 continue this trend like the other two seasons have, where it first starts off good, hype levels are off the charts, there's a lot of content, but after a while, since everyone, you know, ate up that content, they ate it up. There's nothing left anymore. The plate's empty. Epic Games added a lot of stuff to the plate. They gave us a lot of food. And we're gonna eat it up in a couple weeks' time. So we're gonna eat it all up. We're gonna eat the shark. We're gonna eat the water. Everything's gonna be eaten up. <laughs> so, there's gonna nothing to be left. Well, there's something. There's leaks that the map will recede. Or I don't know if Epic Games actually said this. I heard somewhere the map will recede. The water will recede. And there'll be more of the land. The more, there'll be more land. And that will unlock the ability to use cars and trucks, which is pretty incredible. I've always wanted cars. I said, like in chap, like season five, all those, like in 2018, I believe. Yeah, it was 2018. Damn, that was a long time ago. But I think I said in the video, or like, where we're getting close to the cars because the ATK was added. And like, we're so close to the cars. We're so co close. Then the quad crashes. We're so close. So very close. But they didn't go for that angle, they went for planes, and cannonballs, and whirlwinds, and it's like, my goodness, we had mechs, give us a goddamn car, give us a jeep, 
I know it'll be like PUBG and all, but it gives us a car. And that's what they're doing. So maybe that will give us a mid-season hype. Now similarly to, but we also have something to look at, because we look at Season 2, they had in helicopters. And that was hype, but it wasn't enough to grant long-lasting hype until the next season. Because the helicopters came and went. Sure, they're still in the game, but like, the helicopters are still there. They're still existing, like, people still use them, but they're not that useful. They're not controversy, they basically just fly in the air, and that's it. Nothing you do. And, um, I, will the same thing we say about the cars? Will the cars just be cosmetic only and just be able to drive around the map? Can you run over people? Probably. Can you shoot out of the cars? I don't know. Is this going to be like GTA now? We're going to be able to shoot out of the cars and do whatever we want with them? Probably not. But, who knows? I'm just predicting for the season now, probably will it continue to trend? Because, literally, the same thing keeps happening. We get hyped. That by the end of the season, we get annoyed and boring. Even if we look at now, the pros are still getting angry. <laughs> the pros are angry because of the new map and the, and the new loot pool. Because they added a new weapon that basically I heard from Kevin. He says it's trash. I have not tried it out yet, so I may have to play a game. Well, actually, no, I did try it out. Never mind, I did. It was, I, it's alright. I don't see. How it's trash. Well, uh, yes, it's trash. It only does 70 damage, but I two shot someone. But it's okay. The new shotgun's okay, but pros are saying that's trash. It's bad. Math's bad. The, 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 the anger from the pros are already starting, and this was on the first day. Like, I woke up, went to YouTube, and saw a video of like pros being mad. And it's already there complaining already. Which is respectful, but you gotta give it a day, guys. <laughs> but it's already starting, because usually, because it's the first day of the other two seasons, there wasn't really much anger, it was just like, oh, happy, cool, new update. But with this, it's like, pros are already complaining already, so, will they keep complaining? Will Epic Games fix it? I'm giving all these questions, because I don't know the answers. I'm basically proposing uh, this this thing that I discovered, where it's the trend, I should say. Because, will this just be all this for Chapter 2? Just hype? Then annoyance. Hype and annoyance. Hype and annoyance. I'm referring to annoyance, I'm referring to just the game not being fun anymore, the game being tedious. Because Epic Games is just not adding in content weekly like they were back in Chapter 1, keeping the game fresh and unique. After you win, this is where I see I get bored. After you win a game, it's like, you won the game. Nothing really you can do. You gotta wait next season to do whatever. And that's what it is. All this is doing challenges and getting the battle pass. To level 100, getting a, a new skin, the Battle Pass skin, the secret Battle Pass skin, which isn't really a secret anymore, because they get to reveal it on the day one, you have Aquaman, oh, cool, R spoiler, it got ruined, cool, I know what I'm getting at least, but, you know, I liked it when it was a secret, but that's my opinion, doesn't matter, I guess for these special events, you gotta have to say it off the bat, they're doing a crossover with Aquaman, which is cool, it may make sense. It's better than last season with Deadpool, De De I guess the Deadpool kind of makes sense, I guess, but whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm going on a rant, a tangent now. Um, I'm going to go now, so you guys have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, I'm going to go now, so goodbye.